So there is new improvements on Wi-Fi Total Pilot from the 24.4 release. So now we are able from Studio and Studio X to generate workflows from text. So basically we just have to open the command palette, describe the action that we want to automate and Wi-Fi Total Pilot will take care of it and generates a sequence for us. And also this works for Studio F. And now else we are able to fix expressions with autopilot. So basically from the expression editor, whenever there is an issue with that expression, we can try to fix it with autopilot by clicking on the auto fix button. And autopilot will automatically try to understand the expression and fix it. So let's see what we can do currently with autopilot. So to use these newest improvements, we need to have a studio on the 24.4 version. So you can check that here on home and here on the bottom, we can see 24.4 version on my side. If you have a version below 24.4 to install uh, this version or a newest one, uh, you just have to go to automation cloud and then go to downloads and will appear this page. And from here, just download the latest community edition, execute the installer, and it will update your current studio version. So now here on studio, let's uh, start uh, by using the autopilot to generate the workflow from text. So first we have to open the common palette with control shift T. So we can use from here the Y path autopilot to generate workflows from text and now uh, let's try the following so let's say that we want to create a loop that runs 100 uh, times and increments uh, integer variable uh, by one per each loop so let's try this one so let's press enter and now autopilot is building our sequence and here you can see basically a notation with the prompt that we have sent to autopilot. Here you can see a preview of the activities that will be used. Seems it makes sense. So it assigned to initialize the variable for each to run 100 times and for each loop to increment the value of this bar and then a log that probably will log the current uh, variable value. Then we have the option to keep the surrounding sequence or not. So let's keep it. So let's check here this option and let's confirm. And now it's adding the generate activities. And so here you can see, so initially uh, we initialize the variable with the value zero. Then it's created a loop that will run uh, 100 times. And for each time, increment the value of the variable by one. And then it added here log to uh, basically, we can see from the output panel, the value of this variable in the hand. So let's run our bot and see here the output 100. So it worked well as expected. So let's try to generate another workflow uh, with autopilot, so control shift T. And now uh, let's say that we want to onboard new employee on uh, workday, create ticket on Zendesk and open Jira issue. So let's press enter. And now here we can see a new sequence being generated. So now let's just wait a bit. And here we can see a preview. So these select fields, I don't understand what it means. So, but this still is very new. So it's normal that many times it will not do what we really want. But also I think the goal here is to help us to automate and not currently at least to automate everything uh, for us, the world workflows generation just by sending text. So it's more of an helper currently, probably in the future will be more than that. But um, yeah, so let's just confirm and see uh, the activities generated. So it's adding the generated activities and you can see that, yeah, it seems the Zendesk Park was not added here. Uh, so also 
it did here some confusion. So we can see here uh, Orkday activity with the display name create new employee in Workday. And then here we can see this Azure activity with the display name create ticket in Zendesk. So it did here some confusion uh, with the prompt that we have sent. And that's normal, so it still is very new and it will be for sure improved over time. And so now that we know how to use these generate workflows from text future, let's uh, use now autopilot, pipeline autopilot to generate and fix expressions. So I'll just delete this sequence. And now I'll take here a build at the table activity that basically will build a data table with two columns, the column name and column job title. And so here we can see the output will be a data table. So now uh, from an assign activity, let's try to get only the rows that have RP developer on job title. So here, let's describe what we want. So get only the rows that have RPA developer as the job title. And so uh, here we can see uh, dt.select and so to filter the column by RP developer. So here it's the wrong column name and we can try to fix that by doing a better prompt. Uh, so here that have our RP developer on the column, so now let's find the column, on the column job title. And now it's perfect, so uh, let's save. And now uh, the output of this expression is an array of data rows. So here let's declare the variable r dt rows. And now we have changed here the variable type to array of data rows. So here, data row, select, okay. And that's it. So now let's just add here right line to use a breakpoint so we can see the value uh, what's stored on this array. And so we got here an exception missing operand after title operator. Um, that's uh, because here uh, we have, so our column name has a white space on the middle. And so uh, it's interpreting this as an operand. So to fix that, we must uh, put a job title, the column name inside the brackets. Like this. So let's uh, run again and see if it will run as expected. And yes, so now here we can see on the variable, we have two data rows, both with RP developer as the job title. So it worked well. So now let's give a try to autopilot auto fix. So to fix expressions. So let's just declare here two integer variables, int num1 and int a total variable. So, oops, so here my mistake. And now here int total. Now both will be integer variables. And now uh, let's just comment this. And let's say, so just really test the auto fix. Let's say that we want to get the sum between these variables. So let's just define the default value, three and five. And so the total will get the sum of these uh, variables. So here let's use an assign. And this is to get to keep it really simple. So here let's uh, add here int num one plus int num two. And let's say here, let's just put some random characters. So here, the expression property is throwing an exception, is not valid, and automatically appears the auto fix button. So if you click on auto fix, we can see that basically autopilot understood what we tried to achieve with this expression and remove 
what was causing the problem. And so currently we have here a valid expression. So that's basically it. Whenever our expression is not valid, it shows the error and the button appears and we can use it and it might solve our expression error. And so uh, that's it for this tutorial. So the goal was to really show how to use these white path autopilot features. And if you liked it, please give a thumbs up and now subscribe to the channel and enable notifications bell so you don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.